Playwright David Lindsay Abair has created a body of work that ranges from antic comedy through books for musicals to profoundly thoughtful treatment of deeply serious matters. Rabbit Hole is one of the serious ones. It's about a couple whose young son has been struck down by a car driven by a teenage neighbor. A recent production with students at St. Louis University met its challenges impressively. Director Gary Wayne Barker guided them through the carefully modulated playing of a script that offers many subtle observations of characters trying to reclaim an ordinary life after suffering a grievous blow. When we first see Becca, the wife and mother, she is folding up the clothes she's washed of her four-year-old son who carelessly chased his dog into the street. She's getting them ready to give away. Becca wants to remove as many reminders of Danny as she can. Howie, the husband and father, copes in the opposite way. He clings to the videotapes of Danny at play. Their opposing ways of trying to move on complicate further the relations of two people who are walking every moment on eggshells to try to avoid words and actions that pain. Becca's sister Izzy, somewhat of a wild one, after describing her latest bar fight, reveals that she is herself pregnant. That certainly complicates the basically loving relationship with the sister who has just lost a child. Their mother, Nat, another regular and loving visitor, somehow cannot avoid conversations about death, like someone always picking at a scab. And Jason, the high school student who was driving the car that struck Danny, an accident that was completely unavoidable on his part, feels compelled to reach out to the parents, seeking some kind of closure and absolution that he can't find in himself alone. This leads to a beautiful and painful exchange with Becca that does seem to bring each some catharsis as this bright, pained young man talks about his interest in theories of alternate universes, hence the play's title, a rabbit hole down which both he and Becca might find a parallel universe without their loss. Carly Cosper as Becca, Jacob Holton as Howie, Meg Gorton as Izzy, and Molly Dipple as Nat all had a convincing maturity and emotional depth. Spencer Lawton as Jason, playing someone almost his own age, struggled more to find the appropriate reserve for someone in his position with the family, always clearly driven by a need to reach some kind of resolution. Jim Berwinkle designed a full suburban home with lighting and sound by David LaRose and unobtrusively right costumes for each character by Lou Bird. Rabbit Hole is a difficult play done movingly by the St. Louis U cast. It certainly was. I hope you liked the reviews on Two on the Isle. You can click here to see other reviews and to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to be reminded immediately after we post. Enjoy the reviews.